So I think this is absolutely a historic uh, mark in Canadian cycling history to have this facility. It's been way too long time coming. Um, our, our young athletes are going to benefit from this facility enormously and stop all the mixed match training in LA and training in facilities like this but having to do all the travel and you know they have to go and hold training camps now they can make this the center of Canadian track cycling uh, forever you know and um, I think if they house that around with uh, certainly things like the CCA office and the OCA office and make this a national training site uh, we're going to have nowhere to go but up and that's where we're going to go and I, I'm very enthused to see where we would be at as the Canadian cycling side in 24 months. So you think great. it'll be that quick? Yeah, oh absolutely. You're going to be surprised how quick it's going to come. I was watching the races for the first hour on uh, Saturday, right? Saturday the first day? Yep. Watching the races for the first hour. I uh, was talking to Aaron Hartwell briefly for a minute then and I said, Aaron, the mistakes I see, the technical errors I see so quickly here, you're going to fix that so fast. You know, it's going to, these kids are just going to absorb it like a dry sponge. And those technical errors are just, that's why it's going to take off. Is, you know, they're going to have a chance. They'll, they'll correct them really quick. Uh, certainly, it's been nothing but positive feedback on the track itself. Yeah, yeah. All the all the athletes at all levels. Yeah, and it's very been. smooth. It's very well put together. Um, the transitions are good. The transition from in and out of the bankings, uh, G forces from a track point of view are at a minimum. You know, and as best as it can be for something this, this configuration. You know, and uh, once the wood starts to cut a little bit, it's going to get quicker. So all in all, that's good. Um, absolutely. I think the momentum of the Pan American Games will, will be similar. It'll certainly be sim very similar in the Toronto, Greater Toronto area. Um, and if we do well as a country and kind of pick up on that momentum from Vancouver, um, it's only going to be good things for Canadian athletes and, and the whole. Um, and if our cycling team can capitalize on having this for even a short period of time and, and win a few medals, and our girls team looks really good, you know, um, it'll, it'll build momentum for the future. Um, so the, uh, the location, you mentioned it's here in the GTA, and certainly the number of people that it has the potential to draw into the sport is outstanding. Um, so that you think will be a, a contributing factor to the growth? Without a doubt, um, Forest City in London has done a remarkable job. I mean, they started with nothing, okay? And uh, the riders that have been pumped out of there, and um, I, I remember very, very distinctly in 2005, Ontario had not won a medal in junior track cycling for over 10 years. And I think in 05 we won two, in 06 we won six or seven, in 07, 2007 we won 12. Gold, right? And you put that down to the folks. We had a track. Yeah. We had a track and these, these young kids had an opportunity to, to train and, and to gain some experience. And the nice thing about Forest City, even though the configuration was not world class or anything like that, but if you could ride Forest City, you were not intimidated anywhere in the world. Those okay. banks are You were going speed. on that track and you knew how to handle your bike and that's what it did. Right? That's very true. Yeah. And, and it taught the kids how to pedal. Um, Rob did a great job with that. I'm really proud of him. Very good to talk to you next. So I raced on Saturday and uh, that was only like an off the cuff thing. And if it hadn't have been in Milton, you know, like, and close to home and what's going to happen. And my main objective, that's why I'm here. I'm here in the 2015 Toronto team. And I, I'm preparing to be a volunteer, hopefully, for the track center. That's what I want to do. Okay. And as a two time Pan American Game Gold medalist, it was kind of like close to my heart to participate back, you know, or give back to something. And so I guess like three weeks ago, I thought, okay, I'll sign up and I'll go. And, and I haven't raced since 2006, so it was really kind of. Let's go do it, you know. But Saturday was what, uh, such a wonderful experience where I went through a whole collage of emotions. Um, you reintroduced me to all the things, the up and the down and side to side and everything that happens, you know, the stress and, and the elation and everything. And uh, But when, when they called my name for a bronze medal on the podium, I had a little 
emotion overcome me. It was just an absolutely remarkable feeling to be part of that again and, uh, and to, to perhaps even give back to the young kids that they can see that we do have a legacy. We have riders that went out there and with really minimal support, okay, minimal financial support, and we went to the places we had to do in Europe or whatever uh, to, to win to achieve those heights, right? Um, and so that's the legacy for the kids to strive for. So the, the, the challenges that you're describing, um, back in the day when you were racing, it was um, probably a smaller circuit and mostly European, but there were hot spots like Montreal. Montreal, uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania became a hot spot, and that was up to the Jack Symes group that got uh, uh, Rodale Press, which is Prevention Magazine, got the funding to build that track. The whole purpose was to stimulate, motivate track cycling. And it certainly did, and it still does to this day. I mean, it's had a few ups and downs, but it's still a hotbed of American cycling there. Um, yeah, we had it in Montreal for a little while, but in my day, my actual day, was more centered into Europe. I mean, the, the big sprint races were in Paris and in Milan, Copenhagen, you know, Amsterdam, and, and uh, if you wanted to be a, a world-class sprint rider, you had to go where that was, and I went over there for a few years to do that. Winning. So, you have a sprint race, we have a winner, you have a Kieran race, we have a winner, you know, we have a we have a 40 lap scratch race, we have a winner, you know, they like to see the, you know, who won, you know, right. and that's what we understand, who was first over the line. Yeah. And, and we are using this as a facility to yeah. develop the next round of winners. That's right, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to say thank you, that was great. Thank you very much.